Hey everybody, Charlie Waymar here from Ultimate Studios Inc. and the Recording Ninja Workshops. Welcome to part two of our Building a Drum Sound mini-series. In part one, we covered our kit with two mics, ribbon in the front and our large diaphragm condenser as an overhead. If you haven't seen that, click the link up here and go check it out. Those two mics gave us a great drum sound, or at least a good overall picture of the kit. Our ribbon got a good some good bottom in from the kick drum, gave us some body on the snare, while our overhead got a good, some good crack from the snare, picked up the toms and got our cymbals. However, inside our track, we definitely are missing some punch and presence from the kick drum and the snare. So in this video, we're gonna add a kick mic and a snare mic to go along with our ribbon and our large diaphragm condenser overhead. Inside the kick, we're using an MXL A55 kicker. It's about halfway in, so it's, it's about this far in, pretty low, and it's angled slightly pointed towards the beater. Now, we're getting a lot of low end from this ribbon. That's our body. So I'm not really looking to get a whole lot of body from that mic on the inside. Thing I like about the MXL is it has a decent click to it. So I've got it further in the drum, just trying to get a tack. That's really all I want. I'm gonna let this ribbon mic build our body. That's also gonna give us some depth. On the snare, I'm adding my favorite snare mic, which is an Audio-Technica Pro 63. And it's just gonna add presence. You'll hear it instantly in the track. We'll get a little more, little snap that we were missing before. So let's go check this out. I'm gonna have Hal come out and do a little plan, and let's hear how these two uh, new microphones change our drum sound. Okay, so you can hear how the kick and the snare mic definitely added some presence. Don't you think, Oscar? Yeah, me too. Now let's hear how it affects our track. So the addition of our kick and our snare mic have really made a difference to our drum sound. It's helped give us some clarity, it's helped it punch through the mix. The kick added some nice attack on the bottom end so we can actually hear it a little better and we were getting that snap from the snare that we didn't have from just the overhead. In part three, we're gonna add some spot mics to our toms as well as a room mic. If you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Check us out on Facebook, like us on Facebook, leave some comments below. Let me know how your recordings are going. It's Charlie Waymire signing off from the studio. We'll see you in part three. Right, Oscar, was that cool? Did you?